Good morning. Welcome to our 11 a.m. update of our winter storm that is impacting all of the northern mid-Atlantic with an icy mess on the I-95 corridor. As of this hour, we're continuing to see snow over Connecticut, the Hudson River Valley, northern New Jersey, northeastern Pennsylvania, generally light snow. But around the I-95 corridor, we have stopped our warming. We're at freezing or well, basically between 27 and 32 degrees along the I-95 corridor. Very dicey around Long Island where we're bouncing between 32 and 33 degrees. 33, of course, is rained. 32 is freezing rain, and that leads to ice. And off towards JFK, we're reporting, again, freezing rain, 31 degrees. Now, why am I concerned about Long Island? Well, the winds are coming in from the north now. That warming is slowing down or stopping at the surface. So once we fall below 32 degrees, 31.9, then you're talking about freezing rain. And we're very close to moving into that. Along the Jersey Shore, we have stopped our warming. Our warmest location is down towards Wildwood at 43 degrees. Look at this at 9 a.m. to almost 11 a.m. now. You can see that freezing line has not moved at all. We're right around freezing just to the south of the I-95 corridor. So we're talking about Monmouth County, back towards Trenton, of much of northern Burlington County, off towards Philadelphia. We're getting reports of sleet and freezing rain developing throughout the region. And uh, temperatures, again, holding around 30 degrees in Philadelphia with freezing rain is bad news. So what does this look like at each level of the atmosphere? Well, when taking a look at the radar here, you can see our precipitation continuing, remaining very impressive around that I-95 corridor right here. Then we get a little bit of break, but this is starting to fill in because this is the polar shortwave. Just remember that. That is coming in from the west. The reason why that's important is that this area of precipitation is going to start to fill in. While that's happening... Our surface low pressure system will continue to intensify over the coastal waters. We'll start to get that cold air get pulled towards the coast with temperatures falling from here on out through the 30s into the 20s as Arctic air starts to stream into the region. At 925 millibars, a little bit higher up in the atmosphere, our warm air transport has started to slow down a little bit. And you can see the cold air transport now pushing into eastern Pennsylvania. Notice the winds here. We'll zoom in. We have them coming into the east on the coast, coming into the west, just entering eastern Pennsylvania now. So that cold air transport is just about to begin at 925 millibars. When does it begin at 850 millibars to turn this ice over to snow? Well, that will happen when this trough axis right here, which you can see right here with the shift in the winds, reaches the coast. So right now we have this southerly wind on the coastal plain pushing the ice snow line into Connecticut, into northern New Jersey, north of New York City, to the west of Philadelphia. This area of very cold temperatures will start to shift towards the coastal plain once this trough reaches the coast, which is probably about 90 minutes away. So once that starts to happen, you're going to see a cascade of all that frozen precipitation changing back over to snow. So if you have rain on the coast, you're going to end up snow. Ice and sleet, you're going to change over to snow. So all that is going to be evolving over the next 90 minutes while this strong lifting continues to evolve here, which we can see very nicely here on the infrared satellite picture. Taking a look at the latest HIR guidance, again, pretty much in agreement here. As we end this event, we have a burst of heavy rain on the immediate coast, ice on the I-95 corridor, changing over to snow. This is at about 2 p.m. So it is 11 a.m. now. By 2 p.m., we still have heavy frozen precipitation along the I-95 corridor, down through coastal New Jersey at this point. Precipitation on the way changing over to snow before it ends. And as it marches on through, probably pick up another half an inch or inch on top of the ice that we already have. So very treacherous conditions this evening for the evening rush hour. The precipitation will be over, but the roadways will be slick and icy. And from here on out as well, temperatures start, start falling through the 30s into the 20s and heading towards the teens as that Arctic air builds in. More updates as we will go through the afternoon hours as well. So uh, definitely stay tuned as the storm continues to evolve.